Hey, peace, love, and love, my beautiful, beautiful divine feminine, divine masculines. I will, each and every one of you beautiful souls are feeling amazing. Today is the full moon. But just like clockwork, um, here in North Carolina, they always do this where they cover up the full moon with these chemtrails. You know, they make these fake clouds and fake weather and so the full moon is non-existent but i will you all are utilizing this energy uh regardless because <laughs> the energy is still the energy as above so below as within so without uh i will everyone is healthy wealthy feeling amazing uh everything is everything on my side of the planet um i got called to do a reading that i have not done in a long time you could already see the title of this video and it is called they pray and pray on your downfall I've been getting a lot of energy of just some old you know scrupulous inconspicuous you know sneaky energy that's really just disgruntled angry um, and has it out for you guys so really Tap in, tune in, um, definitely, you know, do a little grounding before you listen to this reading because I have a feeling it's going to be a heavy one. Uh, we are closing out this six universal year. We're entering into a seven universal year. Seven is all about assertiveness, moving forward. It's about personal growth. It's about you being connected to your higher self, your God frequency, tapped into that Christ consciousness, being very clear, very in tune. And um, I do feel like that could be why there's so much disdain and anger and frustration, because perhaps maybe the attempts to snuff you out, uh, the attempts to block blessings or opportunities or love or happiness or even your health and wellness uh, has failed. These are failed attempts. So these are people who could have had some sort of form of witchcraft done on you. These are people who have been doing spells. These are people who have been summoning all type of evil into your lives. And what I am getting a strong sense of is they failed. And so all of that energy that they were sending to you, all that they were intending for you, all of those intentions they've put into their works, it is now being what? Return to sender because you all, we've seen throughout the past two, three years that I've been doing these readings, that you all have come into your own power. You've all been very much um, capable of being the transmuters of energy, the conduits of change. Scorpios and, and any other energy that I am picking up on in these readings, especially in the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine readings, it comes out a lot. There's a sense of resilience. There's a sense of power that you are harboring, that you are utilizing, that you are channeling. And there are some beautiful angels. You may have spiritual parents that don't play when it comes about you. Um, so these energies have been almost like turned around, you know, really just left in awe at how much you've been able to take and it is non-effective. Their works were not effective. Um, now, I'm not saying that you all did not suffer some of the symptoms of what is considered to be like spiritual warfare. So many of you could have been suffering from many physical ailments. Uh, you may have gotten sick or ill out of the blue. Uh, some of you all could have had just unexplained um, or inexplainable uh, circumstances with your health. And that is always a sign. Maybe you've had some bouts with depression. Maybe you've been very fuzzy, um, fuzzy mentally, you know, very, very cloudy mentally, not able to see things that are right in front of your face. Uh, and it's because these individuals have been, you know, performing these magic spells. They've been doing things to psychically attack you as well as spiritually attack you. And in doing those things, there's also these physical ailments that you may 
experience in that process. But I feel because of your beautiful ancestors and angels, because of your connection to your angels and your guides, because of the devotion you put in to connecting with your guides, communicating, even speaking powerful words of affirmation to, to ward off any evil, to banish any negativity. Maybe when you felt yourselves, um, you know, feeling a little more uh, negative about things or heavy. You felt that heaviness and you immediately knew uh, that it was time to set your guard up, your spiritual guards, um, to summon or call upon your angels. Some of you could have been doing that nine-week Archangel Mikael ritual. Some of you could have done it several times uh, this year and that beautiful, powerful energy has protected you from whatever these negative um, individuals have been uh, trying to throw at you. So you all have have um, some real angels, you know, that are looking out for you all behind the scenes. You may have some ancestors. I'm hearing a grandmother. I'm hearing for some of you, it could be a father, um, even a sibling. I'm getting um, a sibling. Someone is coming out like, you know, that's my sister. So I'm gonna make sure she's good. I feel like a lot of you all could have also dealt with a lot of abuse in your former relationships. Um, and these were karmics. These were people that were brought into your life to teach you self-worth, self-value, and ultimately to help you start loving yourselves, opposed to looking outward for something that is supposed to be within you. So these are very powerful, powerful uh, energies that I'm picking up on. So it would be very interesting to see what comes out in the reading. As I said, I was inspired by spirit to do this They Pray and Pray on Your Downfall series because it's been a minute and because the energy has been very, very heavy. So there's a train going by. So whomever these individuals are, I don't even feel like you communicate with these people. I feel like there's definitely distance. I feel like there's definitely emotional distance. And this is probably one of the reasons why they're becoming even more frustrated. Um, you know, because they could definitely be watching you from a distance to see if what they're doing is taking effect. Um, and it isn't because you seem to still be keeping it pushing. You rolling with the punches um, and you're defying the odds. And it isn't just solely from your um, your strength alone. It's because you have some angels that are walking with you as well. You know, and there were moments where they were actually carrying you. I feel like a lot of you suffered some some physical ailments. You suffered some sort of um, something pertaining to your health this year like there was a battle you know some of you it could have been cancer i'm hearing for some of you it was potentially like a cancer scare um but i feel like i'm hearing high blood pressure hypertension diabetes uh some of you all had some issues with your vision maybe you all were having like um migraines just out of the just randomly just these pains these ailments these aches um that were just happening and it was just like where did this come from and you knew without knowing where it came from you knew that it had nothing to do with your diet or the way that you were eating or the way that you were resting, but it had something to do with some outside source, some external source uh, that could have potentially been um, gunning at you, you know, aiming for you. So uh, that's why I always, always advocate to uh, protect your energy, to wear your um you know, to wear your, your, your jewelry, your protective jewelry, your um, amulets, um, talismans, to say prayers, to call upon your angels and your guides uh, for guidance, um, and to also be mindful to uh, assess your circle at all times. Uh, because even though I was picking up distance, these could be individuals that are still in your cipher, in your circle, that you wouldn't suspect that are doing these things. Um, and it's usually that way. It's people that you least expect. People that you wouldn't even expect because it's like, why would you be jealous of me? You seem to have everything going on in your life. And there's just, you know, people 
are very funny, you know, very fugazi, especially when people are not um, grounded in themselves. If they have some sort of, of, of healing that they need to do, there's, it's very easy to project and deflect from the issues that you may be um, harboring within yourself. And so you start finding fault in other people or you start rivaling with another person or they become your arch nemesis when this is really someone that you may admire. So, um, they say imitation is the best form of flattery, and I don't feel that. I feel that, you know, if someone's imitating you, this is someone that's threatened by you. Uh, this is someone, you know, that definitely is feeling a little um, envious or jealous, um, and they hate what they can't duplicate ultimately. So whatever you're doing, you appear to be very successful. You appear to be uh, very, very much in your power. I just feel like you all have like come out of some sort of like really intense uh, situation and, and you've turned it around. Um, you've defied the odds. I heard that term in my mind's eye earlier, like you defied the odds. And this has got some folks like they're literally like baffled, like how the fuck, where the fuck, who the fuck, part of my language, but that's what I'm hearing in my mind's eye. It's like, yo, how the fuck did they do that? Like, who the fuck did they go to to even know that? I was doing this, you know, like, so it's like, and they could be summoning, you know, some sort of spiritual practitioners, um, that could be about their game, but whomever you have, uh, in the spiritual realm, you know, that is rocking with you, whoever your spiritual parents are, whatever ancestor that is protecting you, um, like I said, they, they can't, they, they going up against uh, something that they cannot defeat. And so you should be very thankful, very humble. Um, I'm getting a sense of resilience, self-mastery, uh, evolving, like you've become healers. You have to, in order for you to be a healer, you had to first heal yourselves. And that's what I'm feeling like, is like you all were tried and tested prude you know like pruded to to become this this new and improved version of yourselves um and so this is a very beautiful beautiful energy i'm picking up on but on the flip side of that there's someone that's watching with very envious eyes that is someone that is very very frustrated uh, because whatever they're doing it did not work whatever they were throwing it was returned back to sender I wouldn't be surprised if you hear that someone randomly just got real ill uh, because that could be a sign of the person that was throwing something at you or maybe someone lost a job or maybe someone broke up um, you know that was married for 50 years and everybody thought the marriage was just like oh goals and it's like they just randomly broke up out of the blue and it's like those are signs that that could be the individual or the individuals involved in whatever witchery whatever negative energy that was being thrown at you um, those are the individuals, those are the culprits is what I'm hearing in my mind's eye uh, because you have returned it to sender. Spirit is returning it back to sender. All of that negative energy got to go back. Energy is transferable. So whatever they were trying to send to you, it's like spirit is sending it right on back to sender. That is why it would behoove individuals to not partake in doing these things uh, because you never know how high in rank spiritually a person is or who their ancestors are or who their uh, spiritual parents are and so when you're throwing things at people because you're watching a bunch of YouTube videos and you think you're a witch or you think you're a warlock or you think you're a spiritual practitioner and you're throwing ish at the wrong person guess what's up it's called karma dharma beloved karma comes I think you forgot this here this is yours that's karma she returns all of that back to sender so that's what I'm picking up intuitively we're gonna tap in um, I welcome anyone that may be new to the channel my name is Q um, I channel messages intuitively I'm also clairaudient and I am an empath uh, during the reading you will hear me playing music and the name of the song name of the artist lyrics within the song even the timestamp um, it will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what may be coming out in the tarot cards and it all just kind of blends very beautifully that's the way I read on this side of the planet um, so if you feel that my energy the way that I read resonates with you for my vibes coincides with yours hit that like button definitely don't be shy. Subscribe to the Soul Tribe Soul Family and definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload because it is sporadic. It's not daily. It's not even like weekly. Um, so, I mean, you know, it could be. But uh, 
So, you know, definitely hit that bell notification just so you could be notified as to when I am um, um, uploading, okay? Uh, for all of my beloveds that are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Um, and just in case you don't know my spiel, for all of you who are new, my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. So if it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Do not try to force anything to be yours. Don't carry anything that doesn't belong to you, Ashe. My readings are also timeless. So whenever you see this reading that was divine timing and in divine order, that you have done so. So we're going to go ahead and we will proceed with the read after I do a sound bath. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do some house cleaning. And then we shall do the sound bath and proceed with the read, Ashe. So... I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, Gaia, universe, source, the divine, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun. To bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, the number synchronicity, the vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, 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 beloveds. So we shall go ahead and do this beautiful sound bath. Before we start, I like to do a um, three inhales and exhales, deep inhales and exhales just to ground your energy, just to get you prepared for this message. As I said, it could be a heavy one. So let's go ahead and do that. Inhale through the nose, exhale through your mouths, and then we shall proceed with the read ashe. So let's do a nice inhale. Inhale again. Exhale. Last time, inhale. Thank you, Spirit. Every time I use this chime, I always feel so much energy on the crown chakra. I absolutely love that effect. I love what I feel in my crown chakra. So let's go ahead. Let's see what's playing on the playlist. And so we have Beyonce. This is called Speechless. So um, definitely. <laughs> what did I just say? Okay. So we got Beyonce saying Speechless is 345 on the clock so that reduces to three that's 12 so someone is definitely feeling um that you 
are like a divine feminine. Like I said earlier, the description I was picking up, like someone who has like reached that level of self mastery, someone very wise, someone very creative, innovative, someone that is like revolutionary um, or revolutionizing something. Um, there's a power, there's a, a master manifesting power and ability that you have harnessed, that you have channeled into. So you are co-creating, you could be an entrepreneur, you could be a single mother, single father. It's like they see you in this light and this is someone that you are like you're leaving someone speechless because it's like as I've said you've defied the odds in some way in some means and so it's really um, astounding to someone like how the hell did you you know come up out of you know that chokehold that they thought they had you in it's just like you you did some old crazy power move and you got up out of that and not only did you get out of it it's like you you just continue to to persevere you show this sense of strength you show this sense of of resilience unlike this any time before you know like unlike you know before like unlike anything this person has ever seen before is what i'm feeling and so this is leaving someone completely speechless like they don't even know what to say they don't even know what to do um i'm feeling like even whomever they were summoning to do this working on you if this isn't someone doing the work on you um if they've summoned someone if they've paid someone like a spiritual practitioner um to do something like this it's like even they're stunned, even they're like, yo, you might want to just like leave this person alone. <laughs> you might want to leave them alone because um, if this didn't work, uh, beloved, all this work that you're doing is going to come back to you. And so, yeah, this person is very speechless, whoever this is. And that's what I was feeling because I was saying like they, they, they was feeling this energy like who the fuck, how the fuck, like what the fuck, like damn you know so very strong um and that three like i said because it was 345 that reduces to 12 that's three this is an energy of someone that was really trying to hurt you um they were trying to hurt you to the core because i'm seeing like the three of swords so they was really doing something they could have been using like dolls mojo dolls voodoo dolls whatever like sticking pins in the heart and the head and the feet and the arms and the legs just to cause pain some of you all like i said could have been suffering from certain ailments physical ailments health issues just randomly out of the blue you could have been someone that was a vegan going to the gym regularly and then you went to the doctor and they was like oh you got hypertension you got diabetes uh you, you might have glau glaucoma and this is stuff that you was like yo what what do you mean like i eat a healthy diet i lost 20 pounds last year i'm going to the gym regularly and so it was just like it, it was odd and it's because whomever this was i was picking up on was doing some things behind the scenes so let's proceed with the read because that's what i'm picking up in two Intuitively, we always start with the numerology deck. So let's get this numerology deck and see what we got coming and going out, going on. So, okay, so we got this eight manifestation here. So just as I said, that empress, that emperor energy um, is very much master manifestors. They have channeled the energy. They embody the characteristics, attributes of all of the queens, all of the kings. So it's like they are very much in the energy of knowing how to harness the power of a king of swords or a queen of pentacles or a queen of cups. So it's like they can tap into that energy because this is someone who has evolved. They've gained that sense of knowledge of self um they are also very much in alignment spiritually so you are af uh, absolutely like tapped in to your 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 powers to your uh, ability to co-create um you could be tapping into your inner magi your inner alchemist um and definitely manifesting something new whatever this is it's bringing emotional fulfillment it's bringing joy it's bringing a sense of like relief i'm hearing someone like just <sighs> like finally like peace finally like happiness like finally i'm out of that dark you know period in my life like there's just this sense of like just just um overwhelming joy you know for this to be all pink so you could have gone through something karmically as i said you could have been in a karmic relationship this could be a karmic in the background that could have this disdain and 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 this frustration because whatever they were intending for you maybe they're now um they're suffering um from their own um you know the seeds that they've sown in bad faith while you on the other hand are you know still shining still glowing you know what i'm talking about like you you still you know pushing forward upward and onwards 
Um, so this is powerful energy here of um, you being able to manifest. This also is speaking to like some sort of wish fulfillment, like spirit may be blessing you with uh, some sort of um, gift, some sort of answered prayer. Maybe there's a miracle that's taking place and this is going to leave you speechless. Like you're going to be in awe. Uh, this could speak to love even coming in, like someone that you could have prayed for, maybe someone that you could have um you know, you have you you could have called in uh, during you know those those moments of of manifesting, journaling, uh, saying your intentions or speaking your daily affirmations. Whatever this is, this is like a miracle. This is a blessing. This is something beautiful that's coming in. And so I see on this split we have 61 self love what did i say so because you've learned the value of self love you've learned the value of self respect self worth this is about self discipline so you have definitely learned some things that's 61 that's the crown chakra um and i was picking up like crown chakra heavy activity cuz next year is a seven universal year cuz it's 20 2023 so that five and two is seven so it's a seven universal year and seven is associated with that crown so i was speaking to the personal growth and this has been your personal journey of learning to love thyself so you had to learn to love thyself and this is what you did through that healing process through dealing with someone that could have been a, a potential karmic in your life uh, you learned value of self-love. You learned the value of self-worth, self-respect. Uh, this seven and this eight reduces to 15. So that's six. So I do feel like whomever this person is, this is someone you definitely walked away from because I'm getting like the six of swords. You created space because there was a lot that was going on and you started to see things the moment you moved away and was looking from the outside in to the situation. So you was able to see things clearer when you created space when you created distance, when you set up boundaries, when you was dealing with that personal uh, situation or with that person one-to-one -one or one-on-one, -on -one, there was a lot that was hidden in plain sight because this person was wearing a mask or these individuals that you were dealing with were wearing masks and I'm just feeling like they were smiling in your face all the time. They were stabbing you in the back or they were stabbing that voodoo doll or that mojo doll or they were doing some binding spells. They were doing things and so they would probably be in your energy enough just to learn what you got going on, you know, and they're acting like, oh, you know, they're just wanting to hear all the great news that is going on with you and all they were doing was picking your brain to see what angles they can work to to get at you to clap at you um so this is the energy of someone that you moved away from the train went by so i felt like there was already distance and this was not just physical distance i feel like you kind of pulled your energy away because the more you were away from the person the more you could see things that just didn't sit right in your spirit and i feel like your first eye that six is associated with the first eye so i feel like that's when your eyes started to open and see this person in crystal clear it's like there was things that crystallized you know and and it, you didn't like it it wasn't pretty and it, what it was was the truth of the matter some of you all were wearing rose colored glasses some of you all were in an illusion trapped in that illusion you know some of you all were even self-deceiving because this person showed you through their actions who they were and you wanted to believe that they were you know in the greater good of the human in the greater good of that person because maybe this was someone you knew for a long time maybe this is someone you invested in um you know long time uh but i feel like ultimately the truth was revealed you saw something that was definitely very sussy and i feel like you created space as i said so that's what i'm picking up uh, just from that energy. So let's tap in. Right now we have uh, Patrice Russian. And this is called Remind Me. So this is definitely uh, someone from the past. I definitely am feeling like also um, something could have happened that reminded you of a situation. Um, with Patrice Russian, I feel like Rush is is what's sticking out to me and maybe this was someone that you could have rushed things along with this person gave them the benefit of the doubt didn't really do your checks and balances didn't really you know pay attention to the red flag so you could have rushed into a situation with this person whether even befriending them or you know maybe dating someone that you should not have or maybe even just like i said tr giving someone the benefit of the doubt not making them um prove themselves you know trust is something that has to be earned it's not given and i feel in this situation you kind of rushed um 
in that in that situation. You didn't really, you know, take your time with the situation. You kind of rushed through, and now you're you're starting to see things, um, you know, that you failed to see in the very beginning. Uh, so what I see here is 85. Um, I just happened to look over, and it says follow your dreams. So I was picking up again, like a wish fulfillment or a blessing. Maybe you all are now starting to move to the beat of your own drum. You're starting to do things that you feel passionate about, willing to take risks, willing to be more daring, uh, being more spontaneous, but also like, you know, whatever that is, whatever that, that nudge, whatever that pull, whatever that calling is that is happening within you, like erupting within you. I feel like you're ready to answer the call and you're moving more, you know, moving forward um, and, and prioritizing you now opposed to uh, some other person, opposed to overcompensating or um, self-sabotaging. This is an energy of like you, you know, rising from the ashes that 85 uh, reduces to uh, 13, 13 reduces to four. So, you know, whatever that situation was that you are recovering from, it's really uh, showing you that, you know, when you take onus, you actually can heal because you're taking responsibility, you're taking accountability, and this allows you to really start the healing process. When you're in denial and when you're like projecting or deflecting, as I said earlier, there's no way you can heal because you're not seeing where you are. Are at fault or where you um, are the one that has to um, you know do the work you know there's work that you may need to to do that's required for you and so when you are in this energy of 85 which is at 13 that is the energy of the death card so there's a death of the old version of you and the birth of this new version of you and this birth is telling you to be more uh, assertive go after what you want like I said move to the beat of your drum four is about stability it's about a sense of, um, you know, security even. So this is about standing perpendicular in your square, standing erect, and also standing your ground. You know what I'm talking about? Like not, not just allowing somebody to like steamroll you. I heard the word punk you. Um, maybe some of you all were passive and you're no longer uh, in that energy of appeasing to please because that four that I was picking up on, that's the heart chakra. So now you're more emotionally intelligent and you're more willing to be assertive in circumstances or situations that doesn't feel right or sit right in your spirit now. So you're going to speak your truth now. You're going to, you know, you're going to talk with your chest. You're going to mean what you say when you say what you say. So that's beautiful. So let's tap in. So divine spirit of love and light. Who is this praying and praying of Scorpio's downfall and why? May I have a message of love and a message of light. Who's praying on our of Scorpio's downfall and why? May I have a message of love and a message of light spirit. Who's praying on our beloved Scorpio's downfall and why? And right now we have uh, Tony, 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 and this is called just me and you. So with Tony, 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 I'm definitely feeling like some of you all could be dealing with someone named Tony. Tony is definitely a um, unisex name. So it could be some, a female or a male. Um, uh, let's see. With just me and you. Maybe this is someone that you thought it was just you and them, but they had some sort of, you know, third party or there was some other entity involved, as I said. Um, maybe this is someone that had some third party or maybe there was a spiritual practitioner. Maybe there was someone else that was involved in this. I'm hearing love triangle or him. I'm hearing like um, some sort of karmic. There was something else. It wasn't just you and them with just me and you. I wanted to do it one more time. Spirit said do it one more time. And so I did. So the bottom of the deck, overall energy. We have the number five change. So five is associated with the throat chakra. So there's definitely something that changed within you in terms of the way that you express yourself, assert yourself, the way that you communicate. It's like now you're opening up your throat chakra. I feel there's also changes that you've made because maybe there were some conflicts that have happened in the past. Maybe you was dealing with someone that was very challenging, someone that would challenge you, someone that would just speak very reckless. I'm hearing somebody was just reckless. They had vomit, you know, like they would just had diarrhea of the mouth, just said anything they thought of. I also feel like with this change, because it's solid, I feel like you all have like matured, you've grown, you've mastered yourselves because that's associated also with the Hierophant. So I feel like some of you all could have started to um, develop a spiritual connection like I was picking up earlier, connecting more with your deities, your angels, your ancestors. Maybe you've created like an altar space in your home for your ancestors. Maybe you started to call upon your angels like Archangel Mikael. Archangel Metatron, Shamuel, Uriel, Ariel, 
Yohawk, Kalak. You could have been calling upon all of these energies just for protection, just for power, just for guidance. And this is what's changed you. This is what's also given you the clarity to see what was right and, you know, hidden in your in your face. It was like hidden in plain sight. Five is also a number of conflict, mental conflict. And this is something that you have also changed. I feel like someone was really like talking um, in circles, like just talking because they have lips. Somebody that was just like a gift of gabba, somebody that just always ran their mouth. And when you really listen, it wasn't saying nothing. Everyone knows a wise person. They, they listen more than they speak, you know. So when someone's just constantly talking, they just want to be seen. They just want to be heard. It's like an attention whore type of energy. And I feel like you, what, what changed in you is you, you stopped giving the attention to the attention whore. You know, you, you stopped giving your attention to that because, you know, it's like, it's almost like that energy of like, whoever you give your attention to is, it, you know, whatever, did, uh, how does that saying go? Um, you started to be more mindful of your, your energy and what you was paying attention to, you know, because when you give your attention to everything, like the distractions can distract. So you have to be more mindful of what you're watching, what you're, 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 because everything pulls and tugs on your energy. And so I feel like a lot of you all, you know, when you're going through like a very studious energy or you're studying, you're researching, when you start journaling or just like start self-reflecting, self-assessing, self-analyzing, uh, um, it's like you, you, you really kind of pull uh, your energy away from other people. It's almost like similar to the hermit, you know, mode. You know, where you start going within to search for the answers. Well, this one is like the, the, the hierophant is really like you may have sought wise counsel from, you know, like an ancestor, an elder. You may have sought wise counsel from, you know, certain books and documentaries, lectures, um, reading materials. Like this was you seeking, um, you know, greater information, outformation. And you achieve that because now you're spiritually strong. You're sound in your energy, in your power. And this is what's triggered change. And this is something that everyone can see. This is evident. This is powerful, beloveds. Give me one moment. Thank you. Sorry about that, y'all. So let's tap in. So we have four perseverance on the bottom of the deck. And we are about to pull the energy for the person that you are, you know, that is like in your energy that could be watching. And what did I say about the word perseverance? So this is someone that has literally watched you persevere through anything, like through all that you've been through. This person has watched you literally like I'm seeing someone like crawling in a crawl space, like crawling like that army crawl. You know, um, I'm, I'm seeing that in my mind's eye, like mud all over somebody's face. Maybe some of you all were in the military, you know, but I just feel like somebody is seeing how you have persevered through the heartache, the pain, the loss, the agony, whatever they've done, whatever they were trying to do. It's like it didn't it didn't affect you. It didn't stop you. It didn't stunt your growth. It didn't block the many blessings that spirit is giving you and blessing you with. You've persevered. You've learned to love yourself in this process as well. This person has absolutely witnessed change because this five and four reduces to nine. And nine is the highest number and vibration of change. So I feel like this is someone that definitely sees how spiritually strong you are. It's like, as I, as I said, like when you heal yourself, you become a great healer. So it's like you now are someone that harnesses that power, you know, that divine feminine, that divine masculine. But you've persevered through some things. Right now we have um, Isaac Hayes, and this is called um, Ellie's Love Theme. And so what's what's sticking out is haze. So I feel like this person's vision, like it, they, they really had you very hazy. You know, maybe you you thought you loved this person. Maybe you thought that this was your divine masculine or divine feminine. And this person was in a haze. Maybe this person, um, their ability to see you in your light, you know, was was definitely um they maybe they were under some spell whatever i'm picking up like what i'm picking up is there was like the vision was blurry hazy is like blurry vision so i was i was feeling that earlier so someone was definitely unable to to see you in your light but you were able to recover from that 
because I'm getting like the four of swords. You was able to recover from whatever they were throwing, from whatever they were saying. People don't realize, you know, even if you're not doing actual spells, just speaking ill on someone is like casting a spell because words are spells and spells bind. And so when you're speaking ill of another person, like I hate that person, or, you know, there's been studies like you can just look up the studies on YouTube where when you speak certain words into a glass of water, how it will change, you know, the the um, not only the symbols, but it will um, it will change like the, the 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 energy of the water. It will create these really uh, sharded, sharded, shaped um, images. And when you speak words of love and endearment, it created these beautiful, like, uh, um, symmetric symbols. It was very beautiful. So this is this is what this person is now seeing about you. It's like whatever they were speaking, whatever words they were speaking, whatever spells they was working. It's like you persevered through all of that. Strong as hell. You sh you, you you was strong, and you got through whatever they was doing. Because what I see here. Um, that's playing. We have Granique, and this is called Anything, and this is from the Black Butterfly album. So butterflies are very symbolic of startling metamorphosis. You know, that's what you've gone through, a startling metamorphosis, a transformation. You've reborn, you've been reborn. There's like this rebirth. I'm seeing like the phoenix rising from the ashes. So this is the perseverance. So this person sees that you've you've gotten through every and anything that they could have been thrown at you. They could have been throwing everything at you. Every and anything. And and you've defied the odds. You you definitely wow, that's powerful. So let's see. Who's this person that is um praying on our beloved Scorpio's downfall and why? Who's this person praying on our beloved Scorpio? Not even Scorpio's, pardon me. I get so caught up in the Scorpio regions. This is for divine feminine and masculine. So pardon me. Let's bang, bang, boogie the cards and ask spirit again. All right. So who is this person Just praying and praying on our divine feminine, divine masculine's energy? They have a message of love and light. Who's praying and praying on our divine feminine and divine masculine's down full beloved? Let's see. And we have... 74 nature so this 74 reduces to 11 11 reduces to 2 even though 11 is a master um, number like I was picking up I, I'm, I'm hearing uh, like high priestess because that 2 is associated with a high priestess um, I'm also feeling like this is someone that definitely um, was trying to cause confusion um, this could be someone who's confused they damn self and projecting as I said and deflecting from the issue But this too is telling me like they could be going to some sort of high priestess or they could be a high priestess themselves and doing some sort of spiritual um, um, some sort of um, Love spells my cards are upside down. Let me fix this. All right And so we have this domestic harmony here on the bottom of the deck So 46 is telling me like this could be someone from your past this could be someone that you was dealing with. This could represent family. This could represent, you know, a children's mom, children's father. This could be a sibling. This could be a cousin. This could be an uncle, auntie, whatever. Uh, with domestic domestic harmony at 10, this is definitely someone you're no longer communicating with. There was some sort of ending. There was some sort of painful ending or a loss. And I feel like you haven't spoken to this person in a minute. And for whatever reason, this person is super um, concerned with you. With this 5 and the 74, I do feel like they was very deceitful in the past. I'm hearing, um, you know, green with envy, especially with this card. And now they are like, you know, you, you live in this person's mind. I feel like this person is definitely like greedy with envy because the 5 and the 74, which breaks down to 11, which breaks down to 2, is, is 7. So I'm getting like the 7 of swords. And I'm also getting a sense of like whatever seeds that you have sown, whether in good or bad faith, and this person, whether in good or bad faith, it is going to be, it's going to, you're going to reap what you sow. So this person definitely may be um, experiencing some, some very difficult times. And with this 46, that's again another one. And how they feel about you is they feel like you are moving on. You have some sort of new beginning. You're not looking back. 
I feel like you definitely are, um, you know, looking forward to your new beginning. Like you're, you're very motivated. You're taking action. You're doing what you need to do to prepare for uh, your future. So you could be very busy, very focused. You know, you could be preparing for this new venture, you know, because you know that you're on the precipice of something new. That this domestic harmony, maybe this situation started off very peaceful. And like I said, um, I was picking up rushed, you know, from Patrice Russian who was saying, um, you remind me. So maybe, you know, there was a sense of like you rushed into something. You didn't really uh, get to know someone, you know, and, and, and maybe that's what is now, uh, you know, you're starting to see now the all of the red flags that you missed you know, because you could have just jumped into something with blinders on, you know. So let's tap in. So how does this person that's playing on our divine feminine masculine's downfall feel about them? I keep saying school <laughs> and we have intuition. See, they know you're very intuitive. They know you're very psychic. I did a post today, 2-2. Two, two. It was 2-2-2 two, two, two today. And 222 is very much a master builder number. It's a very powerful number. And we went through, we had two 222s two, two, two this year because we had 1111 and we had 2222 two, two, two in February. So with this energy, this shows very psychic. I was telling you that you always tapped in, you know, trusting your intuition, being more discerning, you know. Following what feels right in your spirit, in your gut. Trusting that gut instinct. It's the stomach is like a second brain. You'll feel energy in your stomach before you feel it anywhere else. If you get around certain people and your energy just flops or, you know, you just feel like your energy just kind of sinks in. You, you, that, that's, come on. That spirit telling you like, okay, it's time to put the guard up. It's time to put that protective shield up because this person, mm, they ain't on it like you. They, they, they're on a completely different frequency. But this right here, this 22-4, someone absolutely knows that you are also psychic, that you can see through them. This is someone that also, I saw the 55, this wanted to show itself. I was picking up the cards, and that's a 10 also. And this is also what I was feeling like you was, you know, going to be more daring, following, you know, your own path, your own desires, prioritizing you. But what's on the bottom of the deck is uh, the four perseverance again. So with this energy here, what I'm picking up is with the seven and the four, this is 11. This is again, they know now like you have evolved into, you know, like that, that, that sorcerer, you know, you're like Rihanna you're a magical being now. It's like you got your, you, you got your superpowers, beloved, whatever took place in the past, whatever experiences you went through that were very traumatizing, that caused major endings and changes in your life. It's like you've evolved literally like the phoenix from the ashes and emerged someone completely on it. Someone that loves themselves. This orange is associated with the sacral chakra. So this is all about, again, moving to the beat of your drum, standing in your power and owning it. And this is Ralph Tresvent singing, um, do what I got to do. So you could be dealing with someone named Ralph. First, middle, or last name. So this person knows that you do what you have to do. You, you keep it pushing. You're not getting distracted by the distractions. You're no longer allowing yourselves to fall for the okie doke or to allow people to talk you into circles or to gaslight you or to, you know, insult your intelligence. It's like you're highly on the frequency, in the frequency, tapped and tuned in. You have very much... Um, amplified your psychic abilities through whatever processes you've gone through whatever this experience was whatever you know however you were being tested all it did was it put you in the rightful position that you were meant to be in this is like this has awakened within you that self you know that 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 healer that shaman that master teacher um, some of you all could be tarot readers, psychic scryers. Some of you all may do what I do. Some of you all may utilize your throat chakras, you know, um, in some way, form or fashion, whether through singing, through song. Maybe you create. Maybe you're artists. Maybe you are speakers. You know, maybe you are self-help um, practitioners. 
um, counselors. Maybe you are someone who just, you know, you have a channel and you speak truth. You speak truth to, to, to words. But whatever this is, this is like you are harnessing and honing in on that energy. This is a powerful energy right here. And that's how they see you. They know that you're not one to up with. Because like I was saying earlier, they like, who the fuck? How the fuck? Like, they, they shocked. They are amazed. And it's because you persevered. I can't make this ish up. Literally said this verbatim without the cards. So let's tap in, beloveds. Let's tap in. So what's hidden in the energy for who's praying or Scorpios? I give up. I give up. Maybe there's a Scorpios out there that needs to hear this. I, I, I apologize, but whatever. Spirit keeps saying Scorpio, so maybe this is a Scorpio reading. Maybe that's what I'm going to change it to because I was saying Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. But maybe this is definitely needed for Scorpios. So who's praying on um, this? Okay. So this is like a... Wow. See this? We got 67 here. Physical activity. That's 13. Then we have this 96. And this is forgiveness. So some I'm hearing someone's going to be begging for forgiveness. That 13 is also associated with the death. So someone is going through their own ending, going through some sort of uh, karmic circumstance. Them damn, they damn self. And they're seeking forgiveness. Like they're asking like, oh God, I'm hearing somebody saying, God, forgive me. You know, <clears throat> and, and, and this is like someone knew not what they were doing. You know what I'm saying? When you start, that's why I'd be like, you know, when people start watching YouTube videos thinking that they're magicians and they're witches and warlocks, like we, we, you know, Houston, we got a problem. Like, like, you know, it takes years of developing those gifts. Some people, like, not even some people, are born with those skills and gifts and talents. You know, there, there has to be a calling. You have to know what you're doing. You can't just be watching a video and messing with folks' energy and not thinking that you know, the 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 the. the uh, the gaffel is going to come down on you. Like this, this karma, dharma. Someone's begging for forgiveness. Someone's begging privately, secretly. This is what's hidden in the energy. And it's because they're experiencing some sort of loss, some sort of death, some sort of ending, painful ending. Death hurts. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like death ain't no beautiful experience. I mean, it's beautiful on the other side of the experience, but it's not beautiful to go through it. Someone's going through it. They're not built like you. They're just not. They're not built like you, beloveds. And so whatever, like I said, they was throwing to you, it's like because you are that conduit of change and you know how to transmute and turn pain into power and you have a beautiful connection to your angels and guides and ancestors, they gave you the tools to combat whatever was being thrown at you. So you returned all of that bad juju, all of that negativity, right on back to sender. And now they're begging for forgiveness because they're going through an ending. Four and six. The 67 reduces to 13. That's four. This 96 reduces to 15. That's, I mean, 13. And that's four. So this is someone that's going through some sort of painful ending. And that's something ending that is a part of their karma. Something's coming full circle. What you do in the dark always comes to light. And we have um, Aaliyah singing loose rap. So this is definitely someone. It's it's a rap. Rap it up. <laughs> it, it's completed. The cycle is completed. Tens represent endings. It's a completion of a cycle. It's a rap. We got Aaliyah singing loose rap. Rising power to that queen. And I said 96 reduced to 13. That's 15. Pardon me. That's 4. So 4 and 4. Wait. That's 15. I'm tripping, man. I, I don't know why I'm messing up my, my numbers. But this is 6. 9 and 6 is 15. Pardon me. 6 and 4. Because the, the 6 and 7 is 13. That's 4. So 6 and 4 is 10. That's where I'm getting the 10 for some of you. That may be new and be like, where's she getting these numbers from? <laughs> no, I'm talking about like, on the bottom of the deck, we have compassion 99. Now somebody wants a little bit of compassion. <laughs> you know, but this is really spirit telling you like, you know, stay in a high vibration, you know, judge ye not because ye are gods. You're made in God's image. So you already know what time it is and what time it isn't. 
So forgiveness is always for you. It isn't even for the other person. It's really so you can stand in your power and not have to, you know, hold on to all of this, this negative and heavy energy of being done wrong. Oh, they did me dirty and oh, they made me. It's like, nah, when you are uh, non-judgmental, uh, you are not only imparting that sense of, of self-love uh, to yourself, but also to, you know, guilty parties. You know, and I feel like a lot of you all, you did not focus on anybody external to self. And that's why spirit is really protecting you because you didn't turn around and say, I'm going to do this to somebody else uh, because they did this to me. I'm going to do you. You didn't you you were not someone that was vindictive. And that is that is absolutely a sign that you have grown because that is one of, um, you know, when when Scorpios are in their shadow side or in the dark, when they're channeling that dark energy, they can be very vindictive. Oh, baby, can we? <laughs> we can we can think of some things. <laughs> and not only can we think of some things, but we are like masterminds at seeking out revenge. Um, I know from experience when I was younger, beloveds do not with me. Don't dare. Don't do that. You, I don't think it's, you want to do that. Um, because I was, I was like relentless with it. You hurt me. Oh, you going, you going to know what hurt is after you deal with me. But now it's just like, pfft, like, it's, it's just like, it's like water under the bridge, beloved. I don't even sweat it because I know I'm good. I know I'm walking with some powerful energy, so I don't even sweat it. And that's what the, the devil wants. The devil wants you to get distracted by what it's doing instead of focusing on what you're supposed to do. And I think that's exactly where you have um, defeated this, this, this dark energy because they was expecting you to, 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 you know, to come on down to their level. You know, come on down here with me and, and, and lose sight of what you're supposed to be doing up there. And it's like, nah, you, you, the, the goddess and the gods, they don't step off their throne to deal with the, the freaking, you know, the, the, the little minions. They don't do that. They, they got worker bees for that. They, you know, you got the knight, the rook, you got all of these. Why would I step off my throne to go and handle somebody that's out of line? So that's what the devil does, tries to distract you. Very deceitful. He's a, he's a master manipulator, and that's why you got to be mindful. So whomever this person is, you know, they may even come in with this song and dance. Like maybe they're trying to figure out some way to, uh, to convince you that, oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I apologize. They may come in with some weak-ass, fake-ass apology, you know, trying to get you to put your guard down a little bit. Because they can't figure a workaround, you know what I'm saying? If you can't get past the defenses, um, there's, there's, you can't penetrate. So this, this energy here could be, you know, kind of like being very cunning, very coy, very calculating, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and trying to convince you like, oh, yo, I'm sorry. I apologize. I've, I've had this, this amazing wake up call and I realize what I've done. Nah, maybe not, but we shall see. But with this compassion spirit is like, don't focus on anybody external to self. I feel this is how you've been able to continue to persevere, to grow and to reach that level of self mastery because you realize I am God. I am made in God's image. I do not care about what anybody outside of me is doing because I am the sole controller of this ship. You know what I'm saying? So you focused on you. You focused on your business and this person here. I feel like they're going to feel it because these changes that you're making this is also, you know, like you setting up the guard because this could be that person that you really, um, you know, gave, you gave them numerous chances, um, even when you shouldn't have, you know, and this person now is like you're a mirror to this person. So they're starting to see what they did and they're starting to realize like, damn, I messed up because I didn't know that Scorpio was actually, you know, um, was some sort of master teacher or some sort of spiritual practitioner or some sort of spiritual advisor. Like they didn't know you had spiritual powers and gifts. Like you was a sage. I heard the word sage, beloved. Some of you need to burn some sage. Give me one moment. I'm sorry. My bad. All right. So let's tap in. So this compassion. Remember, stay in your God frequency. Okay. Because that nine is associated with the hermit as well. Like I said, uh, this is someone who's trying to um, match your energy. So that's why I was picking up like somebody who could be kind of like fugazi coming back. You know, like fraudulently, you know, wearing a mask, trying to act like, oh, I'm so sorry. You know, and they may approach you 
in this energy of like trying to affect some sort of change. This could be a masculine as well, because that's 67. You know, so this could be, you know, not just some masculine you was dealing with. Like I said, I was picking up like a sibling. It could be an uncle, a cousin, you know, somebody who could have wronged you in some way. This could even be, you know, a colleague at your place of employment that could be kind of trying to undermine you. Who could have been trying to do things behind the scenes to, to block certain promotions, opportunities. This could be a supervisor, a boss, you know. And um, I have, um, we have, um, who is this? Oh, Flo, the flow assist. This is called breathe. So breathe. So, you know, some of you all, like I said, um, exhale, you know, like maybe meditating, maybe spirit is telling you uh, to pay attention to, you know, your breathing patterns. That is your, your breath is really um, very healing to your body, especially when you breathe appropriately. You know, when your breath of life, your prana, you know, um, or the prana that you inhale from outside, it's like there's something very healing about that. So I just feel a sense of like needing to ground yourselves, connect with yourselves, maybe focusing on um, your breathing, breathing more from your nose and exhaling from your mouths, maybe meditating, you know, connecting, like I said, to that God frequency. There are certain... Um, mudras that you can do as well to assist with you know perhaps like the chakra energy like whichever chakra you're working for there's a mudra for that and so that will aid and assist you maybe some of you all are having difficulty breathing maybe some of you all uh i'm hearing like are dealing with like bronchitis you know the weather is getting colder or maybe some of you all are asthmatic. I was picking up like in the earlier, uh, earlier in the reading, like maybe some of you all were dealing with, um, you know, certain ailments and, and, and certain uh, health issues. And, and maybe this is that energy of, you know, feeling um, shortness of breath even, but maybe because someone has been affecting your energy. But let's tap in, let's tap in. So what is the outcome for who's praying on our beloved Scorpio's downfall? What is the outcome for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall? What is the outcome? Thank you, Spirit. Finish the shuffle. Bottom of the deck, we have the number two, patience. So good things take time to create. Patience is a form of action. And I absolutely feel like you all have been very proactive in this process. We have the number 26. And this is love partnership. So you all are still coming into some sort of beautiful union. And we have the number 13. And this is effort. So because you've made the effort, you know, because you've changed, because you've transformed, because you've had some sort of startling mighty, um, startling metamorphosis, I feel like that's why spirit is allowing this wish fulfillment to come in. Remember, we had follow your dreams. We also had that eight um manifestation and I was picking up some of you all may potentially have like real love coming in true love someone that you've manifested or someone that could be manifesting you this could be why someone is coming in with some fake apology to distract you to throw you off course off off your your path your your spiritual path someone very cunning I won't be surprised if the devil comes out but with this 26 love partnership this is like a wish fulfillment this could be someone that is uh perhaps um, someone you walked away from, you may have walked away from a certain person because they weren't making the effort I'm getting a sense of. This could be you or the person you're dealing with or the person um, that is preying on your downfall, I should say. So with this energy, the love partnership and the effort, I feel like someone's lack of effort is what led to someone walking away. This also could indicate that you may have a wish fulfillment because I associate the number eight to the star to like wish fulfillment and blessings and that's what i was picking up earlier so because you've completed a cycle wrapped up a cycle because you're now in that energy of a divine feminine divine masculine the empress emperor the lord the lordess it's it's now you know a blessing is now being shined upon you that's why manifestation showed up in the beginning of the reading so i do feel like there's a blessing there's wish uh wish fulfillment there's rewards you may be recognized you may be seen as a star there's something that you've called in, prayed for, and maintained a sense of hope and optimism, and it's coming in. And I feel like Spirit is recognizing the efforts that you've made. As I was saying, that number four is um, also a vibration of 1111. So Spirit is saying whoever this is, they will make the effort, even though in the past someone else may not have. So someone could have, um, you know, taught you self-love. 
by not treating you right and now that you love yourself you're attracting what you are so you're attracting someone that will absolutely love you to the core they will love you right this would be somebody that matches your fly your vibration this is beautiful energy So let's tap in, beloveds. Let's tap in. So let's see. That's the outcome. And then remember, we had patient. So some of you all have been patiently waiting, you know, for this twin flame or for this wish fulfillment. You know, some of you have definitely been waiting a long time. And I feel like it's been um, because I'm getting uh, the number 12 from the 8 and the 4 here. So perhaps, you know, some of you all have been waiting for 12 years. Maybe this month someone will come in because we are in the 12th month. And we have Faith Evans uh, singing, You Used to Love Me. So definitely you all have been, you know, kind of like walking in faith, holding on to faith, hope, optimism, trusting in the divine. Uh, to bliss you, to reward you with what it is you've been calling in, manifesting, summoning, setting intention on. So let's tap in, beloveds. Let's see what else we got. All right. So I want to use, because we're doing who's praying on your downfall, let's start with the witch's wisdom. Oh, man, I'm dropping everything. Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. All right, let's see what we got. So... What is this? Oh, look at that. Lady Goddess, the Divine Feminine. And I picked up on that energy early in the reading when we had it, it was uh, 345 on the clock. So it's 345 on the clock that reduces to 12, which reduces to 3. So this Divine Feminine was the energy I was picking up on. This is the Lady. This is the Goddess. This is that energy of self-mastery. This is the Feminine or the Divine Masculine that knows how to hone in on their, you know, their that God frequency. They know how to become the master manifestors. They're very powerful. They're healers. They're nurturers. They're maternal. They're paternal. They're leaders. They're born leaders. And this is someone that loves themselves, has a sense of self-worth, self-value. They know their worth. This is beautiful energy. Look how she's sprinkling all this stardust. So it's like very magical energy. This is what you've changed and transformed into. You started to own that power. You started to harness it. Started to channel it. That's powerful. And it's because you learned that you, you know, that you could tap into it. On the split, we have Watchtower, Autumn, and Lady Goddess. So someone's watching you from a distance. Very, very perturbed, like I said. This could be why someone's left speechless because look how beautiful, how regal, royal, whether you're male or mat or feminine. It's like, look how beautiful this energy is. All you could do is watch in awe. All you could do is be speechless because look at that. That's that's a beautiful sign of, of, of resilience, of perseverance. It's someone that loves themselves, someone that knows who they are. They don't need anybody to define them, to validate them. They don't need that. And we have you used to love me playing by faith. So this is someone that used to love you. And then, you know, they say it's a thin line between love and hate. So this could be somebody that definitely broke your heart and you transformed into this divine feminine or divine masculine. And they're watching from a distance in awe. Things have changed. The leaves falling, the leaves changing during the autumn time. So this could happen at this current time because it's still autumn. It's still fall. So this is something that is occurring now. This person is watching to see if something they may have done has taken effect and it hasn't. Because you're still standing here looking all beautiful and shit. Oh, powerful and shit. Pardon my language. So let's see. Who's playing that our beloved Scorpio's down for a while? I may have a message of love and of light spirit. Who's praying that our beloved Scorpio's down for and why? May I have a message of love and a message of light? Thank you, spirit of love and light they are so perturbed that you've made these changes it's like you used to love them but now you love yourself some more is what i'm hearing you know you i feel like you genuinely loved someone and they took it for granted they played you for booboo the fool or tried to and you transformed on that ass you like you, you literally like set your game up beloved i'm hearing two more and then we're gonna cut the deck just praying on the beloved Scorpio's downfall. So let's 
So let's cut this deck. And um, we have Jersey Monet. And this is called Tonight is the Night. And this is from the Love and War album. So I was literally just saying it's a thin line between love and hate. So love and war is pretty much veggie backing off of that because... You know, this is someone that now is looking at you as like their arch enemy, their rival. They got something to prove, um, you know, hurt people, hurt people. So this is somebody I wouldn't be surprised if they like, you know, literally trying to find ways to, to hurt. My nose is itching like crazy, man. Whenever I start tapping into the energy, it's like my hands, uh, I mean, my um, nose starts itching really, really bad. But um, yeah, this person is now looking at you as some sort of. Uh, arch enemy or arch uh, enemy and it just turned 444 four, four when I said that and I just want to show you because you know I like to show and prove so as soon as I said that it turned to 444 four, four. so this is angels telling you message like don't play with this I told you spirit was telling me like get this reading out because I had not done they pray and pray on your downfall series in a minute and spirit was like yo what are you doing with your life like put these messages so I was like okay I got you I got you beloved but 444 is, is your angel saying like yo like it's time to like boot up like prepare yourselves be be you know look alive beloved so what we have on the bottom of the deck we have ancestors remembrance so this ancestors card is pretty much like the death card you know, um, so as I was picking up like your angels, your ancestors, your guides, they could definitely be behind the scenes, like, you know, assisting you with this process, especially helping you to, um, you know, train to change perhaps your perspective, um, maybe even some ideologies, belief systems, habits, behaviors, uh, your thought process, maybe even the way that you spoke about yourselves or your situation, your self-talk is very important. And a lot of people don't realize like their words are very powerful. And like I said earlier, your words, words are spells and spells bind. That's why it's called spells to begin with. So there's a lot of words I don't use when I speak on a daily basis and people think I'm just trying to be different. No, I'm changing frequency, beloved. I'm changing the vibrations by the way that I speak. And so some of you all, you have to be mindful of your self-talk. Some of you all could be using the word can't, um, don't, you know, if maybe probably like nah change it to powerful affirmations i am i can i will i do you know what i'm talking about so with this energy there was something that changed perhaps in your speech um you know maybe you started to speak to yourselves uh in a more powerful way in a more positive way um speaking daily affirmations maybe you all started to like you know wake up with um you know those those gratitude prayers uh just saying all the reasons why you're 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 thankful why you're grateful um you just were really starting to channel in on that attitude of gratitude and this is also uh something that you've learned you've evolved into this this knowledge to this wise dome and now this has changed something for you um i feel like it's changed um, you know, your perspective, but it's also changed your vibration, changed um, your your whole, you know, energy, you know, has, has kind of changed something crystallized within you on the bottom of the deck. Look at that prosperity, beloveds. This is what you receive when you make those necessary changes, when you do the necessary work, when you heal at a soul level, when you stay, start taking onus and accountability. You know what I'm saying? This is what spirit has for you. I told you there was a blessing, some sort of reward. And there's some folks that are absolutely perturbed by this. And we have Khalees get along with you. So now someone wants to try to get along with you because this is what they see is coming. It's like it doesn't take a whole day to recognize sunshine. And whomever these individuals are, like I said, whatever they was throwing at you, I'm hearing they was throwing everything at you. Everything. You know, there's, there's a... um. There's some sort of cookie called um, kitchen sink or something like that where they just put every damn thing in it. And I feel like this person was just doing every damn spell they could think of to try to block you, bind you, you know, hinder something um, that you would, could have been working on. Like this, this is like this is what they was trying to do. But this is coming regardless. You know why? Because like I said, seeds you've sown in the past in good faith, they will harvest, beloved. And the seeds you sow in the past in bad faith. Those two will harvest, but it won't harvest what you're looking for. It's not going to bear fruit. 
You know what I'm talking about? It ain't going to bear fruit, beloved. You ain't going to be able to live fruitfully. You know, you're, you're going to be living in regret, remorse. You know, you're going to have to pay for those karmic debts that you accrued when you were trying to play God. You know what I'm talking about? Like, it's not up to you. <laughs> That's why I don't believe in submitting my will. I don't believe anybody can do anything outside of what I can do. I can do whatever it is I say I can do, period. And so with this energy, this is coming, beloved. Prosperity, abundance, wish fulfillment. And just speak those positive daily affirmations. Like, stay in a very positive vibration. And this is what's coming. So we have the 74 nature. Somebody's trying to affect your money. This is somebody that could be working at your place of employment. Somebody that could be blocking some sort of promotion or blocking some sort of opportunity. This could be a masculine. This could be someone that is also, because I was picking up like with the seven that I was getting from this uh, five and the 74, I was getting like the seven of swords. So this is someone that could be like real deceitful, like smiling in your face, like, hey, how's it going? So how's, how is the new department going? Like if you recently got a, you know, a promotion, they want to, you know, kind of nose their way into your business. Keep it very minimum. Don't say anything. I don't care if it's the smallest of details. Don't share anything. Don't even share what department you moved to. If you used to work with this individual, whomever this is, don't even share where you are in the company. If you see this person in passing, it's just like give them a wave and keep it pushing. If that. But don't don't sit and have small talk. Don't exchange energies. Don't be around anybody that you know is not rocking with you. Because this right here is somebody that's really like trying to... To, to block something. And this is someone that's in your environment. Especially with the 74 and the nature. This is somebody in your environment. This is someone you could work with. Like I said, somebody that could even be in your neighborhood. Somebody that could be in your family. You know, perhaps at a, a, a supermarket or a gym you may frequent. This is this is like familiar energy. And this is somebody that is looking at you like, I could see a mother with money. Like they could smell it with money. So you just looking like money, especially coming out of the gate in that manifestation energy and that divine feminine energy and that divine masculine energy. It's like, yeah, you going to you you going to pull and draw in a lot of, of energy because you attract to you, you know, the good and the bad, you know. And so we have Faith Evans yet again, and this is called Love Like This. So, yeah, this person now realizes like they never had a love like this. And like I said earlier, like it's a thin line between love and hate. This person could have loved you initially and now they hate you because they don't have you, you know. Okay, so let's tap in. So who is this that is um, praying on our beloved Scorpio's downfall? Thank you, spirit. And we have this homeland foundation. So that's how they see you, someone very solid, someone who rebuilt on a solid foundation, even if you had some sort of uh, ending, it's like you now have rebuilt on a solid foundation. This is somebody who you may have known, you know, you may have grown, grew up with this person. Maybe, you know, like I said, there's distance. I was picking up on distance. So you've created distance and rebuilt, you know, created some sort of safe space, some sort of safe haven. And with I never knew a love like this before, this person has never seen this ish in their life. This lifetime or another. What we have here is fire, passion. So this is someone very, very passionate about this. Passion could be, you know, it could be good or bad. Like I said, and if you look at this um, feminine energy, it's like she's summoning this fire. So this could be someone who's a fire sign. This could be someone who is just very, um, you know, very passionately trying to do whatever it is they're trying to do. To, you know, somehow take some sort of action. Because that too is the high priestess. And if you look at this energy, this is someone utilizing, you know, the energy of fire. And fire is ruled by the planet Mars. Same as Scorpio. So it's like, you, you, you know, this person is definitely uh, tapping into that dark energy. So this could be associated with like anger. This is someone that has angered you a lot in the past. Like fire, it, it, it heats the water. You know, it can heat up the water. So maybe this is someone that could have a lot of lust. You know, somebody who, who's 
uh, ruled by their phallus or ruled by their uh, female or male principle. Because they're saying, I never knew a love like this before, so maybe this is someone that could be obsessed or possessive. Obsessively watching you, maybe even trying to get somebody to do something to to bind you or to to block you from moving on in love or to finding love with this passion this, this is someone that absolutely is like they're very conflicted mentally I feel like this is someone who's always stuck at a fork in the road because it's like as I said it's like there there is a little a sense of like it's not even balanced it's imbalanced to me because I feel like they live in two minds Two is a number of duality. It's also a number that that is um, is really about you know finding balance. And I feel like there's something very imbalanced about this person because I was picking up the planet Mars, and Mars is still in retrograde, and it will be until the very beginning of January. And so I'm just picking up like all of that same Mars energy. I was I was um, intuitively picking up on in the very beginning of November. When I sent that post out, when I sent out that, you know, that that um, transmission pertaining planet Mars and it being the Lord of War and there being, you know, a potential for bloodshed and accidents and violence and, you know, death and, and all of that came into fruition. All of that came into fruition. That's when, you know, a lot of um, we found out, you know, uh, the beloved um, takeoff was, you know met his untimely demise and there was a young sister in you know in uh charlotte that met her untimely demise and there was all these mass shootings and it was just ridiculous and yay and Kyrie and all of these little things that was happening in mainstream media so it was like it was a lot of 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 tension and destruction you know destructive energy you know that was happening so I feel destruction with this energy I feel also uh, someone that um, you know I'm, I'm just picking up like devil energy when I think of the devil I think of fire you know I think of somebody that is um, you know uh, just very um, deceitful you know and this is also like codependent as well like you know because with that obsession and possession like that's that's codependency that's someone like you, you you're obsessed why are you stalking me why are you watching me what do you what do you care about what i'm doing if we're no longer together you know and, and with the watchtower that just showed up i obviously you know uh, you know i feel like there's somebody just just kind of still watching keeping tabs that's why they know to be jealous that's why they know to be speechless because whatever they're doing it's not working and it's because you're very solid, you've created boundaries, you've established, you know, the necessary boundaries, you've created a safe haven, and you devote a lot of your time connecting to your guides, gods, and ancestors, and we see that very clearly right here, you know? So spirit is almost like telling you, remember your powers, remember your superpowers, you have the power to cut anyone, anything off. Remember, we had Granique anything, and that was Black Butterfly. And black is a number of uh, a color of power, you know, protection. It's what's hidden. So spirit is reminding you the sword is a representative of, of cerebral energy, the mind. So it's about seeing, you know, things from a, a different perspective, you know, from a more evolved perspective. So let's tap in. So who is this person that's praying on our beloved Scorpio's downfall and how do, why do they feel this intuition why is intuition here for how this person praying on our beloved scorpio's downfall feels about them why is intuition here for how this person is praying on scorpio's downfall feels about them god diggity dog thank you spirit we got a couple of cards that flew out look at that we don't <laughs> and look what's on the bottom of the deck let me show you this see this this is a hidden enemy beloved they pray and pray on your downfall this is somebody hidden, hidden enemy. See this cloak? They they, they got the back part in my back. Whenever you see somebody wearing cloaks and hoods, and this is somebody really like trying to to hide the fact, you know, of, of who they are. Someone wearing a mask. And we have Erica Badu singing other side of the game. So this is someone that's on the other side, like I said, the dark side. 
This is not somebody that's all about love and light and high vibrations. This is someone working with, you know, the other side. You know, while you're working with the angels and ancestors, they they're summoning, you know, that they're, they're tapping into that that uh, ball energy, you know, that satanic energy. This is somebody that's doing, you know, obviously summoning all kind of witchery, beloved. And they're concealing. And that's why spirit is like, use your intuition. Remember, I was picking up with that six that I had um, saw with the, 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 the I, I can't even remember the numbers, but I was speaking of the first eye. And that's what intuition also is. The four, you know, even though it says four. This is really about you trusting what you feel, what you know in your gut. Like, what do you feel in your gut? The, the stomach and the heart chakra are literally one in the same. It's like there's, there's, you know, it's the, the, the stomach is, uh, or the solar plexus is the lower uh, chamber to the heart chakra. So that's why this four is here, because it's telling you to trust what you feel, even though it says the heart chakra, um, which is associated with the four, that three you know, um, the solar plexus is really what gives you that gumption, you know. So this is about trusting your your inner wisdom, your intuition, trusting what you feel. Being emotionally sensitive, energetically sensitive. Because you got this ish going on right in front of your face. And I feel like y'all know it now. And that's why I was picking up like y'all being super duper, you know, guarded. Like you moved away from the negativity. Now you can see, you can see everything crystal clear. So this is how they feel about you with imagination. Remember I was picking up like haze and, and all of that. And this is like, you know, you can see this is, um, it says imagination. So this is the um, king of air. So this is about you like looking at things from that bird's eye view. You know, you're also seeing that there is somebody doing some sort of witchery. This is somebody that could live west of you, north of you, east of you, south of you. But this also is a reminder um, as above, so below, as within, so without. So you also have the power to counter whatever attacks. You also have the power to see, you know, what is hidden if you tap in. And you have to unplug from everything that may be distracting you. That's why I was picking up like... You know, um, you know, not just being around certain people or watching certain things. Even your diet needs to be um, light. You know, you may need to like change up, switch up your diet. If you eat a lot of meat, maybe you need to hold off on that. Maybe you need to eat more leafy greens. Definitely take like your supplements. Maybe take things that are going to help with like your mental faculties. Like B12 vitamins, maybe even magnesium. But this is spirit, you know, saying that this person knows you're tapped in, you're plugged in, but they may be saying little things, you know, trying to, con you know, maybe trying to manipulate or confuse you. Because how they feel about you is with this here, with the incubation, that's showing like they know that you are like in time out, like you are healing, repairing, recovering. A star in a different deck is the divine feminine. So this is what they realize, like you literally took some time out to, um, it's like a rebirth, you know really worked on grounding yourself really worked on um you know obtaining that 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 spiritual strength coming into alignment emotional equilibrium and this is why you're being rewarded this prosperity card came out this is how they see you they see you as someone very prosperous very abundant and this is why they're sitting here plotting planning scheming you know looking for an opportunity to backstab this is a very deceitful person. This is when when you give someone your back, that's that's a sign of like that's like a sign of of angst, like ill. Cuz I say part of my back when I don't like part of my back. Like if I turn my back on you, like that's literally and figuratively. And that's what this person is doing. They're giving you their back. So this is they have little uh they have little very little they have no respect. I'm not even going to say little respect. There's no respect there. And this is someone that is, um, this is someone that absolutely is, I'm just getting like wearing a mask. This is someone like, if this is someone still in your life, the love it. Because we're about to clarify 67, the um, physical activity and this forgiveness. And remember what I said about somebody coming with a fake 
apology, just saying the words, but don't really mean it. And you have to trust your intuition, see things from a different perspective or look at things from that bird's eye view. You know what I'm saying? I'm hearing what I posted the other day. The angels are giving you angles. The angles are different angles to look at something. It's just like the hangman. It's a sacrificial position. So they're giving you the opportunity to look at something again. Look at it again. You know how sometimes you read something, you don't really fully understand what you read. And then you take a little break, go get a little bit of, you know, a little water, a little bite to eat. You come back, you reread it. Bam, it makes sense. It resonates. It's clear. So that's what you may need to do. Is like step away, come back, you'll see something clear as day. Because this person is truly, they think they like, they, they think they are like, like smarter than they are. You know, with this physical activity 13 and this forgiveness, they, they it's like they know because they're watching you. So they, they may think they know what you're looking for in terms of, um, you know, uh, empathy and compassion like they may think this is what you uh will accept and then you will just open yourselves back up to them as if they come back and say hey i apologize uh maybe it's because they've been perhaps like spying on your social media on your thread seeing what you're posting trying to gain some sense of familiarity trying to to to, to connect with your energy and then they'll come back doing the things that you may have been posting or expressing the things that you may have been saying through your posts. And so now they're going to try to use that angle. And that's why spirit is saying, angels are saying, you know, the angels are giving you angles. So it's about looking at things from different vantage points, different, you know what I'm saying? You have to observe, beloved. You got to observe the whole. And we have a Marie, nothing like loving you. So this person could even come back using emotional manipulation. And this is from the um, All I Have album. So this is like their last attempt. You know, this is the last, you know, the, the, the last uh, attempt at, at, at perhaps dethroning you. I heard the word dethroning you. Taking you off your high horse. This is how they see you. That's a projection. They're projecting. And that's what I was picking up. Like somebody projecting and deflecting because they haven't done a bit of work. All this fire and anger and, and frustration. This is somebody that is unhealed. They have not tapped into the frequency. They have not, they have not done any work. At all. And now they want to project. And so they use lies. They use gaslighting. They use manipulation. Any form. Emotional manipulation. They use psychological manipulation. Verb. Whatever. They use it all. So let's tap in. So with this cloak, be mindful, be aware that this is somebody. All they have is, you know, whatever. Um, and I hear sirens going off in the background. But it's like all they have is this one. It's like this is their last um, go at trying to. Let's let that go by. I hope I will. Everyone is healthy. Safe. So this is someone's like, this is their last try. It's like, this is their last, you know how like, they're like, all I have is this one last attempt and I don't know what's going to happen. That's literally what this is like, their last attempt. And so it's like, they're going back to the drawing, bar, um, drawing board. They could be, um, you know, communicating with some other folks. Wow. All right, so let's tap in. Why is the 67... What is that? Physical activity, 96, forgiveness here, and what's hidden in the energy for who, for who's praying on our beloved Scorpio's downfall. Why 67, physical activity, 96, forgiveness. And with the sirens going off, this is, this is the energy I was picking up. Like, that's that, that, this is like forewarning. You know what I'm talking about? Like, somebody tripped the alarm or is attempting to. Somebody's picking your lock. Wow, that flew up and out. Let's finish the shuffle. Thank you, Spirit. The bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Chalices. And this is going to be the energy that's going to be for what's coming in. And remember, we have some good stuff. So what we have is Hearth, Homecoming. So this is someone that's attempting to come convince you um, 
that they want to come back that they want to come back come back home and what's very interesting is on both of these cards you know there's there's fire so this is the same person remember what i said about them you know kind of like being very coy and cunning so this is the same person but they're just trying to they're trying to return so they're gonna try to you know try to uh to act like you know you, you you're the source of their happiness and their peace and you know, this is someone that definitely is 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 um, harboring a lot of, of of angst and frustration, and we have Keith Keith Sweat. Uh, there you go, telling me no again. So you're gonna absolutely tell this person no. You're rejecting this person because you're not stupid. You're not stupid at all. They may emotionally try to manipulate you, and this is only because they want to come home. They want to return because why you are very abundant very successful they realize now just that how um how powerful you are they realize that you are a divine feminine a divine masculine like you've grown you've matured you're different your energy is magnetic and they're mad they're angry because you moved on with your life when they thought that they broke you they didn't want nothing to do with your ass now that they see that you've evolved now they want to come in. They want to come back. They want to return because they realize you're the hearth. Of course you are. You're the divine feminine, divine masculine. Of course you're the goddamn hearth. You know what I'm talking about? Divine feminine and masculine. They're the nurturers. They're the builders. They create the atmosphere of, of love. They create the atmosphere of stability and security. So this person now, like I said, what's hidden they're trying to conjure up some plan to return because they realize like, yo, you're abundant. You're successful. You have a bright future ahead of you. This person doesn't want to be left behind. And they know it's inevitable because this is a part of their karma is watching you rise like the phoenix that you are. And they're trying everything in their power. And with there you go telling me no. They sitting here like they sweating. They sweating beads. This is Keith Sweat. You could be dealing with somebody named Keith. First, middle, or last. And I heard the word La Keith. Somebody could be dealing with someone named La Keith. So this is someone that definitely, I feel like this is someone that's trying to come back and confuse you. Because when I heard La Keith, there is um, an actor named La Keith. And he played in Get Out. And Get Out was really like a mind trip. So I'm, I'm getting like, this is somebody that uses manipulation like crazy. Like, And I was picking up with Isaac Hayes, somebody that was very fuzzy, like like they're, they're foggy, like very uh, confused energy, conflicted energy. You know, somebody that could be trying to manipulate you. That's just what I'm picking up. Gaslighting, you know, because that's what the liar, you know, that's what the um, devil does. They will lie, cheat, steal. They'll do anything to get what they want. They don't care about who they hurt, who they affect. And with there you go telling me no again. This is somebody you rejected. Somebody you walked away from in the past. And and I'm hearing how dare you. Who you think you are. Like you know what I'm saying. It's like they got it out for you. Now you've become like public enemy number one. You've become like the rival. This is I'm hearing they see you as their arch nemesis. Like there's this, this rival now. And it's almost like it's a, a, a chess game. Like this ain't even like. It's like their anger and frustration is built on nothing but just their ego. Their ego has been bruised, whether this is a female or a male, and now they got it out for you. Because they're like, damn, there you go telling me no again. So it's almost like, it's like, who do you think you are? You know, how dare you tell me no? This person really got some ego issues. Like, it's just ridiculous. And so we about to clarify 26 love partnership and 13 effort. And we have the Ace of Cups here. So this is all about you healing, you purifying, clean, clearing, and cleansing your energy. You know what I'm talking about? And when you do that, this is all about like, you know, self-love. That's an inside job. And in order for you to heal thyself, you know, you have to realize there's some healing to do. And so you found some sort of balance. You you, you started to, you know, hone in on that, that inner um, alchemist you know you you learned how to turn all of the pain into a superpower and this is why this person was left speechless because not only did you turn it into a superpower but you succeeded you persevered through all of the roadblocks all of the things they could have been throwing at you and I keep hearing they was throwing everything at you you know all they was throwing a kitchen sink at you you know it's like I keep hearing a kitchen sink <laughs> 
you know, maybe somebody was, um, yeah, yeah, I, I ain't even going to go there. But with this Ace of Cups, this is you loving yourself now. You know, like I said, love is an inside job. So this is you now loving you. Your cup runneth over for yourself. You've learned to appreciate, you know what I'm saying, even the things that you didn't before. You appreciate the way you look. You appreciate every inch of your and fabric of your being now. Whereas in the past, maybe somebody had you feeling self com, you know, self conscious. You know, you lacked, you know, that sense of security within yourself. You felt insecure because maybe the way somebody spoke to you. Because I was picking up like somebody who was just reckless with their mouth, like their tongue was like, you know, it was a forked tongue. So everything they spoke to you it was all projection. It was all projection. It was all how they felt about themselves is why they said the things they said to you and you reflected back to them who they wished to be which is why they feel so perturbed because it's like everything they did everything they tried to do in their power to break you and destroy you it's like none of that shit work you defied every odd you resilient you strong and they can't stand the shit and we have joe to see time and place and so somebody's name could be joe and I'm hearing, hey, Joe, so where you going with that gun in your hand? So that that's from Jimi Hendrix. So some of you all be be mindful, be careful, um, because somebody could be that crazy to come back because they can't have you. Uh, the nobody can type of energy. So just make sure that you doing your due diligence, you know, um, you know, maybe some of you all need to go out and, and, and get yourselves, a, you know, your own little firearm your own little pistol you know what i'm talking about you know protect yourselves register it do what you got to do take some de defense classes you know go to the range um but some of y'all may have to protect yourselves in that way i was picking up some um physical abuse you know um if it's not that maybe these are the thoughts that's going on in somebody's mind where they could be like you know i'm hearing suicidal homicidal what, what do they call that Yeah, I don't even want to go into that. That's very, very heavy. So banish, 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 delete, 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 block, block, block that energy. Thank you. And so it is. So mode it be. So we have the ace of cups here. So this also could be saying like there's a wish fulfillment. There's blessings coming in. Some sort of uh, answered prayer. You know, spirit is bringing you love. Spirit is bringing you someone. And I feel like with time and place, this is divine timing. Remember, we had the uh, patience card that showed up in the numerology deck. And um, that's all about divine timing. You know, good things take time to create. So I feel like there was a need to find balance, equilibrium in certain situations. And now there's something coming in and it's going to be the right time. Everything happens in divine timing and in divine order. So let's tap in. So why is 26 love partnership and effort here for the outcome? For who's praying on our beloved Scorpio's downfall. And look what we have. We have altered dedication. So you all have absolutely dedicated. I literally said this verbatim. And look what's on the bottom of the deck, protection. What did I say? You all, no, it's like, this is why I be telling folks, like, you better stop throwing it at people you don't know. You, you don't know. We, this is a time of awakening. There's a lot of chosen ones out here. There's a lot of people that are anointed. There's a lot of people that are blissed and gifted. And when you out here messing around with that witchcraft and spells and doing all this crazy ish, you don't know who you're throwing it at. I, I told y'all, y'all was absolutely connecting the dedicating time, giving offerings to your angels, ancestors, setting up those altar spaces just so that you could connect. And this is what you all did to manifest some sort of new opportunity or blessing. They're blessing you. I felt like they were. We got ancestors and altars on each end of the um, on each end of the deck. So this is who's blessing you. You're, you've connected. You've made you've made a connection. And so they're, they're definitely giving you the nudges. They're giving you some sort of divine intervention and telling you, like, yo, your hard work, your effort is paying off. Continue to do what you have to do to, to, to continue moving forward. So don't get distracted, as I said. And with this 12, this reduces to 3. So you are in your power because that 26 and that 13 reduces to 12. So this is the divine feminine. This is what you all did. This is where you got your energy and your power. You got your energy and power straight from source, from your angels, your guides, your ancestors, your spiritual parents, deities. And they gave you the tools. They gave you the ability 
to tap in and hone in and channel that 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 inner magi, that inner alchemist. Told you how to protect yourselves, how to create those force fields of protection because you was absolutely under spiritual attack, spiritual warfare. There was people even sending you like spiritual parasites, like trying to be spiritual parasites. Some of y'all was dealing with incubus succubus energy. But you are protected and maintain your protection. You know, maintain your protection, sprinkle salt around your homes. In the corners of your homes, outside of your front door, you can sprinkle black salt. You can make your own black salt. And I'm going to give you the ingredient because Spirit is telling me to do that. So I'm going to give you the ingredients you need to create your own black salt. You're going to need seed salt. You're going to need some coarse sea salt. You're going to need some activated charcoal. You're also going to need... Palo Santo ashes, sage ashes, frankincense ashes, anything that you have um, that you've burned in your home, you could add that to it as well. And I always, um, you know, when I uh, create anything, I always speak prayers, affirmations, set my intention into it. And so while you're doing that, you could also, um, you could, you know, write sigils of uh, there's a protection sigil. I may include that um, picture somehow. Uh, but I used it in a form of reading. So you could look up a form of reading and you'll see like it's like a line and then it's two X's that are connected. So think of a line X and then the X is connected again underneath it. So it's two X's. That's a protection sigil. So you could write that in the sigil. I always use La, La Apollo Santo stick. Um, as I am, you know, um, mixing, as I'm doing the mixing of um, the black salt. And what you can do once you complete it is um, once you finish making it, you could place a candle on top of it, set it on your altar, burn that candle down, and it should be good to go. You know what I'm talking about? And you could do that right now during the full moon. Um, you know, use this full moon energy right now. North Carolina, I swear to God, like it's crazy. In North Carolina, every full moon, somehow it rains, somehow it's cloudy, and the moon is blocked. But I still utilize the energy because the energy is still there. It's just they don't want us to see it. So um, regardless of where you are, still utilize that. You could do that. That's what Spirit told me to do. So protect yourselves. Create a circle of protection. Definitely, um, you know, um, speak some powerful affirmations like at nighttime when you go to rest. Uh, make sure to close. Like um, if you have mirrors in your room, um, cover those mirrors. Turn the mirrors around. You shouldn't have a mirror facing you as you're resting. Um, if you feel like you're being attacked um, during nighttime, that could be like spirit letting you know like you're being attacked during witching hours, which is typically when witches and practitioners, um, you know, start using, um, you know, their magic spells or start doing their magic spells. So be sure to protect your energy. Keep something playing at night, if whether it's binaural sounds um, to ward off negative energy, whether it's protective um, prayers, like they have prayers. You could listen to prayers for 11 hours. They got like Psalm 91, and it's just a repeat of that, just continuously playing. You could even play Orisha music. Um, that is something I do frequently. I'll play um, the Orisha playlist. You could go to my protection um, playlists and you could just play all of that like just play it you know what I'm talking about like especially and the sirens are going off again I will everyone is peace and safe and protected whomever that is that's going through but um so this is a message you know what I'm saying every time I speak of something heavy it's like sirens start going off and we're speaking of this protection card so spirit is telling you this is a message protect your energy beloveds now Shay so let's tap in Every time I look at this, um, every time I look at the, uh, my playlist, we have, um, Faith Evans playing and right now it's called Mesmerized. So you absolutely have somebody completely mesmerized. You had them speechless. They don't know what to do because they, they thought they was, you know, they thought they was doing something when they was throwing ish at you. They thought you was out for the count, beloved, and you got back up. You fell down, but you got up. <laughs> Who's that, Donnie Clerkman? 
But a saint is just a sinner who fell down. Such a pretty song. I haven't heard that in years. That just was just playing loud in my mind's eye. So look, look at this. I cannot make this up. Look what's on the bottom of the dark grimoire card. That is the Empress yet again. This is the second deck that the Empress showed up straight out the gate. Like, yeah, you called? What's up? And whether you're a masculine, this is your energy too. You could just be tapping into that feminine side. Regardless, this is the energy you're in. This is why you're leaving someone speechless. This is why Faith Evans is singing mesmerize so you all are like somebody is astounded they, they're, they're completely confused and conflicted this is crazy and you're also protected so we have on the split we have the seven of swords oh pardon me the seven of cups and the um three i mean the empress the three which is the empress so remember <laughs> This is all the, the different things. Like somebody could have got distracted. Somebody couldn't have thought the grass was greener on the other side. This is really, again, look at this. This this is like confused, you know, don't know what to do. They're kind of just sitting back like, dang, you know, watching you from a distance. Seeing your ascension, seeing your growth. While they had all these different things going on, all this confu confused energy. You know, everything that glitters isn't gold, you know, and somebody could have got duped. Somebody could have got stuck in something that had them lost in translation. Look at this. The four. This is the four pinnacles holding on to hope. Look at that. And look at these two, you know, entities back here watching. And this is the four of pinnacles. This is that energy of somebody who's been holding on to you. You know, perhaps they've been holding on while you've been holding back because you've been focusing on other things. You've prioritized other things in your life, such as your children, such as your stability, your security. You've learned that your independence is a foundation for your happiness. So you're not allowing anything to hold you back any longer because you know your worth and value. And you're not going to get gaffled and bamboozled or distracted by somebody who got a whole bunch of things going on in their life and don't know what they want so this is somebody completely confused, completely stuck on stupid. And we have the moon. See that? This is somebody who is not going to speak a truth if it, if it bites them. In the, it's like this is not someone who is coming back uh, humbly to say the truth. This is somebody that's going to keep whatever lies and secrets that was going on. They're going to just keep it hush because look at his mouth is sewed shut. This is mum's the word. So this is somebody that could be saying, I'm sorry, but they don't really mean it. This is somebody that's definitely not going to be honest. This is someone that was absolutely being manipulative, hiding things, keeping secrets. And you can see this tower right here. You know, off in the distance right there, that's the tower. And so the tower always speaks to some sort of ending. Like there was something that was like, shit hit the fan, beloved. Like, Whatever secrets, whatever lies. You see how this person is like, they taking it to the grave. I ain't saying itch, you know, because this is what? Ego, you know, this is ego. He can't even eat or drink food. Like he can't even be nourished. He's malnourished. Look how skinny he is. And this person, whatever they're doing, like I said, they can find themselves now because of the energy that you are warding off is being returned to sender. And so now whatever they was trying to do to you, it's like they're now suffering from that. Because you're going to reap what you sow. And the mouth is sewed shut. So this is someone that is going to, um, you know, they're going to suffer the same consequences, you know, that they was kind of trying to dish out. So let's tap in. Let's tap in. All right. So this card is standing up. You see how that's standing up? So I feel like spirit has, okay, there's two cards standing up. Spirit chose these two and we're going to take them. Bottom of the deck. We have the five of uh, chalices. <laughs> you see that? You moved on. You was like, I'm out. Peace. See you later. That's you right here in the distance. Like, I'm not. And you left a couple of people behind because somebody's like, what about me? And this person's sitting here like, damn, I didn't know it was going to happen like that. And then this one is sitting here and it's just complete, you know, speechless. I can't even watch them leave. Can't even watch. There's three people here, including this one here, four. So this is really like somebody that is... Um, someone is really, you know, they got some sort of like 
regrets and I feel like it has nothing to do with oh they had an epiphany or oh you know now they get it I feel like it's really because you know karma something is going to karmically bite them in the ass they're going to suffer something because we have um, this is Bobby Humphrey and this is called Harlem River Drive and so whenever I hear, you know, rivers, lakes, oceans, ponds, whatever, that's water. That's an element of water. So it's like this person is completely um, baffled because you started to focus on healing. You walking away uh, just only proved to this person like you wasn't under the um, illusion anymore. You know, you wasn't you wasn't confused anymore about what you needed to do for yourself because you are the one that... Um, you know, affected that change, you know, you started to look at yourself. You didn't project anymore. You didn't deflect anymore. You didn't make excuses. You wasn't a victim anymore. You walked away. You, you, you bolted out of there. You ain't even walk away. You moved on. You got away from all of the toxicity. And now this person is like regretting something. They have regrets because now they're stuck here with all of these, you know, da -dunt -da -dunts. you know, they're, they're stuck here with these individuals. You know what I'm talking about? So let's tap in. So these two cards, look at this. The Eight of Swords. This is mental conflict. Somebody was trying to keep you keep you stuck. This is like whatever isn't growing is dead. This is attachment. This is someone that is absolutely like a demon seed. Like look at this crazy. This is a sick mofo to have you stuck somewhere. And this is what somebody was trying to do. Keep you stuck so that you can't progress, so that you can't grow. Eventually, you're not going to be able to breathe and you're going to die from, you know, from freaking, you know, um, suff uh, what do you call that? Suffocation. But I feel like you started to tap into your power and realize, like, this is only an illusion. No one has power over me. See how this person with the, th the there's a the third eye on his eye. And so this was like, this is what this person was doing because maybe someone was really, um, someone was really like, um, you know, like what's hidden in plain sight is like when somebody is around you, you may not know their intentions. So they're looking at you with a completely different motivation. Like they have some different, you know, motives, some other alternative uh, motives or agenda. And, and you got caught in what things look like. That's how they was able to capture you. But I feel ultimately like when you realize your own worth, your own value, realize you are the conduit of change. You are the master manifester and you change how you look at this circumstance, especially with your angels and ancestors assistance. Beloved, you, you up out of there because that's why the sword was left here for you. See things clearly. You are not a victim of. You are not a prisoner of. You are not trapped. That's only an illusion. You know, this could have been the the self-talk that I was picking up on. The way you were speaking about your thing is what made you um, even more, um, you know, feeling even more imprisoned in a circumstance. But with this sword of truth, with this sword, you was able to cut yourself free. You was able to cut yourself from whatever this toxic thing was. Because this is toxicity. Ugh. That eight of swords energy is like, that's the, the, the self-deception you know, that could be self-imposed until you started to learn. Like I said, when you start to change, you know, when you started to tap into your God frequency, you started to do some of that, you know, inner work and started to uh, seek wise counsel uh, or even start doing your own research. You realize that you harness the power and you can see she is utilizing that ability right here. She's saying as above, so below, you know, what I'm saying out of this glass container I go <laughs> you know what I'm talking about like she in there speaking you can see her mouth is open she's not just being a victim in there crying crying balled up in a circle and he's he's sitting there watching like damn like what is she doing where does she think she's going where does he think he's going and it's like watch watch and learn little fella <laughs> watch and learn and hence leaving a situation behind entirely you know what I'm talking about Next card we have, look at this. I can't make this ish up. Two of Pentacles. Didn't I tell you the two that has you in a state of like confusion? When somebody is stuck at a fork in a the road, they're stuck in two minds. They can't figure out which, which way is right or left, which way is up or down. This person was trying to take you out. You see this energy? 
He got the dagger up and he's trying to stab this person to death in a dark alley. Like, who does that? And the eight and two is ten. So this is someone that you're familiar with because this is the pinnacle. So this is someone that you could potentially be making money with or somebody that could be in your family, someone in your community. Again, hooded. Again, wearing this cloak. And remember, the cloak said concealed. So you still can't even see the face of this person, but you know they're a demon. This is what someone was doing. They was attacking you when you wasn't even ready. This is spiritual attacks. This is spiritual warfare. But what you have here is a book. This looks like a book of shadows here. I see an infinity symbol on that. So you maintain the hope, the optimism. This was also someone that you, uh, I feel like you definitely was dealing with a karmic because the eight of swords and then we got that infinity symbol. It's the eight. So I definitely feel like with the infinity, it's telling you this is a karmic situation. And so you had to confront your fears. You had to confront something head on. And this is what uh, um, this is what led to some sort of major change. This is what led to the change. This is when you started to call on your ancestors, summon your ancestors, ask for their guidance. And if you look here again, you know, you can see these the stardust here. So it's like they're starting to um, you, they're starting to receive those calls. You know, they're starting to receive those requests that's powerful and so we have who do we have now so we have Jill Scott and this is called um, what is this this is called he loves me so the name of the album is resonating more it's called who is Jill Scott words and sound so I do feel like this is somebody you didn't even know because again, with Patrice rushing, I feel like a lot of y'all rushed into a situation, gave somebody the benefit of the doubt, trusted them when you shouldn't have, a lot of red flags you ignored, and now it's like, okay, now I see things. You know, now you're of sound mind and body. Now you are asking who's the real person. You're checking for the masks lifting on the face. You're checking to see if people are like, you know, talking because they have lips. Like you are now, um, you know, able to pick up on energy of people. You speak energy now. You know, so let's tap in. So with this five of um, chalices, yeah, you, you moved on. You moved away from this person. You definitely moved away. So who is this person and why is, um, who is this person that's um, praying on our beloved Scorpio's downfall? And why is the 74 nature and fire passion here for who's praying on our beloved Scorpio's downfall? And so we have the Knight of Pentacles. Every time we speak of someone, you know, this is saying the Knight of Pentacles. So this is someone that's been strategically planning this ish. And I just feel like, again, like this is someone who is, you know, in your surroundings. You know, I was picking up on a coworker, even a supervisor, boss, a team lead, maybe someone in your community, someone at a gym or a store that you may frequent. Like this is someone that is like taking their time because they are trying so hard to you know to um to affect you you know in a negative way they are jealous because look at you the empress yet again here so someone is really you know with this knight this is someone really really like taking their time because with that that i keep seeing the um you know the concealed card you know that person that was concealed and their back was turned and, you know, the Knight of Pentacles, you know, they take their time. So this is slow to come in because they take their time because they want to get it right. And I kept picking up on the energy of somebody that was just like, they were so adamant. They're, they're the like, you know, they're, they're really adamant on, on, um, on harming you, on hurting you. And this is someone that, you know, with he loves me, maybe some of you all may not even think someone's capable of this. Because you think they love you. And as I said earlier, it's a thin line between love and hate. And then we had Jersey Monet saying, you know, the album was um, love and war. You know, so there could have been a time where you thought it was love. But now this person is like, they're warring with you. You know, there is a spiritual warfare as well is what I'm hearing. And you here for all that smoke. You ready for all of that. You ready for it. You like what? What's up? What you got? Come on. This big mama energy right here. 
big mama, big papa energy. This is the lady, the lordess, the lord, you know. So let's tap in. So why is 22 intuition, air, imagination, astara, incubation, and prosperity card here for how this person is praying on our Scorpio's downfall feels about Scorpio. Bottom of the deck, we got the king of wands here. So this is somebody that was a player player from the Himalaya. This is somebody that definitely has a wandering eye. Somebody that doesn't feel like they have to answer to anyone. Someone that feels like they can come and go as they please. So this could have been someone that was in and out of your life. Someone that was juggling. Someone that was kind of like flighty, unreliable. Someone that was non-committal. Someone that played a lot of games. And look what you did. You fleed. You said, I ain't got time for this dumb shit. You could do that on your own, beloved. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I ain't got time for that. I don't. So let's tap in. So we have, look at that. The high priestess, beloved. This is your energy. Trusting your intuition. You're matching their energy. Like, oh, you want to play? Okay, let's do this. This is a sparring session for you. You're like, what's up? You see things very clearly. You're very tapped in now. There's no more confusion. No more delusion. This is how they see you. They know. They know this too. For the intuition to come out, two, two. And that's why they're trying to match your energy with the 74. That breaks down to 11, which breaks down to two. So they're trying to match your vibration and frequency. But you on that. You, 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 you like, I got time today, beloved. See this? This is how they see you. And then we also have, look at this, the Queen of Cups. You're also very emotionally intelligent. You're also very, very faithful, very loyal to the individuals you love, to the individuals you care about. Very nurturing energy, very devoted energy, very maternal or paternal, very caring. So this is beautiful energy here. And then we also have the four of chalices. So this is someone that knows that you absolutely are the one that got away. They feel like, damn, you know, how the hell did I let Scorpio leave when they abundant now. This is something they didn't see. Now they see it. They didn't see it before because they were so vengeful. They were so, you know, hungry for vengeance and so thirsty to hurt you and harm you. And, 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 and what you did was you evolved. Look at this. This is not love. Remember what I said. There's a thin line between love and hate. Somebody had it out for you. These cards do not play. So someone that was like, could have been very um, controlling also. Like I'm hearing a control freak. Just wanted to control your life. The direction you was going in. Just And we have surface here, happy. So on the surface, this person pretends to be happy. This person also realizes you were the source of their happiness. Because now they feel like this. God damn, what did I do? They're regretting all of that shit. That's why they was holding their head in anguish as you was bolting out of there on that damn steamboat. You was like, I'm out. Do seize. Look at that tower off in the distance. This is somebody that already caused the tower because this is the three of cups. I mean the four of cups. So before the th four of cups is the three of cups. So this person could have been absolutely dealing with multiple people. Could have had addictions, afflictions. Could have had all kind of ish going on. Codependency issues. And now they're sitting here in your absence, watching you, your shine, watching your, your growth, watching your, the evolution of you. And you already know, you tapped into the frequency, you're trusting your intuition. Look at that eye on the back of her throne. It's like now you see all, you're connected to the all. You're connected to the all. And this is just double confirmation. Scorpios, water signs, period, are very intuitive. They're just innately intuitive we just know shit you know what i'm talking about like, we can't help it that's why when you be sitting there like you know how did you know that it's like we know that's why it would behoove you not to lie to us it would behoove you to be just straightforward like i said in the beginning some of y'all just rushed into situations because you was just kind of like smitten bitten by the smitten bug maybe you was just you know in love with the idea of being in love but you didn't really know the person you was falling and falling is the correct term you was falling in love with, you know, that's why I say rise in love. Someone should make you feel a sense of growth and inspiration and ascension. Not like you're falling into the pits of hell. <laughs> 
So on the surface, this person appears to be doing just fine. Like I'm, I'm bothered. I don't care. But trust me, they are suffering. I'm hearing pure suffering. That's what I'm hearing. And I think that's from some reggae song, pure suffering, or maybe from a movie I watched. And that could be what this person is going through. This King of Wands, if you have a fire sign, remember fire came out. So some of y'all could have been dealing with a fire sign. Somebody very angry. They, they, they just got all this misplaced anger. And it's like, beloved, I'm going to buy you several mirrors so you can take a look and peeky, you know, at your selfie. Because, beloved, this is, this is not a me issue. This is that projection I was picking up on. This is somebody that's trying to return, coming back with the same old shenanigans. Same old, you know, this is the illusion of I'm going to make the effort now. <laughs> this is this is all in their head. If they do this, if they say this, this is all words. This is them up in their head because that purple is associated with the crown chakra. You know, and it goes the same colors, blue and purple yet again. It's the same colors on two different cards. So they're trying to mastermind this plan of how to come back, how to convince you, you know, that I want to try again. I need your forgiveness. I apologize. I'm sorry. Yeah, right. You know what I say about real apologies, authentic apologies, genuine apologies. You should see change behavior, period, point blank. Ain't nothing else to discuss. And we have um, Jill Scott, and this is called Only You. And the name of the album is The Real Thing. So they now realize you're the real thing. Question is, are there is their apology going to be the real thing? Is the apology that they're coming towards you with going to be the real thing? Because this is that same person, you know, that feels like they don't have to answer to ish. They can do what they want. Very pompous, very arrogant. And I was picking up ego inflation like crazy. Like they still in their ego. Because they still trying to come back playing more games. Even though they done, they, they done went through all kind of ish playing games to begin with. They haven't learned nothing. There's no, there's no onus. There's no, it's, this person hasn't taken onus. Why is the 67 physical activity, 96 forgiveness and hurt here have not come in? For what's hidden in the energy for the person that's praying on our beloved Scorpio's downfall. And we have this Eight of Wands. So there's some movement. Somebody's making a move. They, you know, maybe they feel comfortable with whatever plan they were strategizing. You know, this could also be somebody else moving to come towards you. So what we have here is the Five of Wands. <laughs> See that? This is somebody coming in just trying to confuse you. When you got Five Wands, that's confusion, conflict. This is all kind of excess energy. And you can see, what are they doing? Summoning energy. They're summoning. These two people are summoning something. So they can have somebody they're working with trying to summon some ish against you. Next, we have the Five of Swords. And look who they're doing this against. The Empress, beloveds. Look at these two cards. Five of Wands. Five of Swords. This is what they're doing. Summoning some ish. And look at all these people chasing this masculine. So this is what you're doing. You're returning all that ish that they're sending to you. Remember what I said? You got to be mindful of who you send an ish to. Like you can't be working against people because you don't know how high in rank they are. Literally said this. Look at this. This person that's sending ish to you, look what they're going to be doing. They're going to be chased by the same demons, the same, you know, satanic energies they're sending to you. They're now going to be riddled with that ish. Homecoming, that could be, uh, you know, a play spirit being very, you know, very um, humorous, like, yeah, homecoming. <laughs> they about to, they about to return home, all right. Oh, and I see another card down here. Look what we have, the wheel. So this wheel is turning in your favor. You are destined for greatness. It is, it's obvious, obvious and evident. You're fortunate, you're, you're, you could be in the spotlight for some things. But this is destined for you. Success is destined for you. Someone is trying to block that. This is what was delayed in the past. Because whatever that person was doing that was concealed, that 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 hidden enemy, you know. Look at this. This is the energy. They were summoning ish, trying to send it to you. And look that. That's a boomerang effect. Return to send it. Because look what spirit is doing. This is what's hidden in the energy. Spirit is saying, as we continue on with the continue on, this is the wheel turning in your favor. And this is you standing up in a victorious stance like... Again, who wants what? You trying to go against that divine feminine energy, that big mama energy, that big papa energy, like you lose. Look at this, eight of wands. This is this is you moving forward. This is wish fulfillments. This is incoming, you know, energy, like positive news coming in. 
This is your angels and ancestors giving you divine interventions, downloads. There could be some serious synchronicities happening right now. So let's tap in. Why is this 26? Thank you, spirit. And let's come finish this shuffle, bottom of the deck. And we have the Knight of Pentacles yet again. So I said the Knight of Pentacles. This is the, um, the Page of Pentacles. So this is a beautiful offer, a solid offer. This is like the beginning of something new. This is like, you know, this could even be like if some of you all were applying for promotions, if some of you all were working hard to receive raises or to receive some sort of bonus, it's like this is coming in, you know, it's coming in very subtly, but it's a solid offer, it's something tangible, it's a new offer, it's a new beginning, it could take you in a new direction. This could even be you working on a new business, um, you know, building a business from the ground up, having that idea and starting to you know, be work diligently uh, to to manifest that, you know, so you're working towards some sort of um, goal, some goal that you have in mind. Some of you all could be, you know, drawing up your, um, you know, your vision boards at this time, like really planning ahead, planning your future, you know, creating business portfolios. Um, so that's beautiful. So we have the, look at this. We got the Ace of Pentacles. I, I, I'm, I, Spirit is blessing you. We already have the prosperity card. So you are absolutely receiving some sort of wealth. This is a stroke of luck. This is a blessing, a new beginning, a financial reward, recognition. This is opulence. This is expansion. This is beautiful. And then look at this rat. See that rat right there? Now rats in Asian culture, culture, um, and even in Hindu culture, um, I believe it's the rat or the mouse. Um, you know, they represent prosperity and abundance. Um, but, you know, this also could be very symbolic of a rat being around you, sniffing, you know, around you because they can sense, like I said earlier, they can smell it mm, with money. They can smell them up with money. They can smell you got money. You, you, you're very prosperous. And this person is sitting here witnessing all the success, opulence, expansion in your life. And they're watching on the sideline. Player hating from the sideline. And next we have Queen of Pentacles. I don't make this up. I can't make this up. Very abundant, self-sufficient, independent. You rebuilt from the ground up. That's why this foundation is here. Now they want to come in after all the hard work. Oh, it's not there. It came out in the... Where did that card go? Oh, I already shuffled it back in. But the foundation card, remember, and it had a map on it. And so this is the person you created distance with. Because when you was trying to build, they was destroying. That that's we on two we got two different paths. If you destroying what I'm trying to build, it's like I'm laying the, the, the brick and then you taking the brick off as I'm trying to get you to lay the foundation. It's like we we going back and forth. So that's what you had to do. You said, okay, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a curb that and I'm going to build on my own. So you discovered your own foundation. This is like pre-emperor status as well. So this is just showing what you did to implement this change that's coming in. That's why spirit is saying, look, what you're attracting as the divine feminine is a new love partnership and someone that is absolutely going to be smitten. They're going to be absolutely adored. They're going to adore you. This is somebody that's going to make the effort. They're going to show you through their affection, through the attentiveness, the attention, the time, and the love language. It's like you're going to be like bitten. And then we have the star. I can't make this up. Wish fulfillment, something that you have manifested. We saw a manifestation in the beginning of the reading. We got this 26 here, love partnership. You've manifested this person into your life. And look at this justice. This is karma. What did I say about the souls you see? The, the seeds you sow in good faith or bad is going, you're going to reap it. And this is spirit saying, you're reaping good karma. This is something beautiful. What did I also say about a mojo doll? So that person that was doing this to you, see that? Remember when I was saying somebody was picking, like sticking um, you know, needles into like, um, you know, somebody's heart and neck and head, you know, this is what they was doing. And that's why spirit is saying, you know, karma has, you know, mama, my aunt has everyone's address. So whatever you're doing in the dark, it comes to light. Whatever's in the wash comes out in the rinse. So whatever that was going on, this is like, yo, everything's working out in your favor. There's a truth that's going to be revealed. And I feel like this is because you remain hopeful. You remain optimistic. You stay focused on your path, on your work, on healing, on growing, and not getting distracted by whatever nonsense this person was doing. And that's why you have evolved. That's why you've grown. And that's why this offer is here. Is someone wanting to come in? It's like spirit is saying, you know, enter the love scene for Scorpio now. Like, you know, love interest, Scorpio love interest, enter scene now. This person is coming in right in this seven universal year, I feel. 
you know I feel like this person is coming in maybe even before this year goes up um, this year um, wraps up because I see this 12 here because this is the outcome so maybe during this month maybe someone will communicate with you or maybe someone will um, you know someone will start to feel some sort of emotions or feelings and start you know planning some way to come back um, but this is a beautiful and powerful reading for you beautiful Scorpios I hope that the messages resonated initially it was going to be divine feminine and masculine but I kept slipping up saying Scorpio 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 so I felt like spirit was saying nah this is a Scorpio reading so I hope that it met resonated for you as you can see you persevere through everything. You're super strong. You've evolved. You've manifested a lot of changes. You've overcome a lot of hurdles. There was a lot of battles you was fighting that you may not have even known about. But I see here clearly that there is success, rewards. There is opportunities that are coming in. There's even love that's knocking on your door. So I congratulate each and every one of you. And I also thank you for tuning and tapping in. And if you are new, as I said, if the reading resonated, if my energy resonated, correlated, connected vibrated with yours hit that like button share button definitely subscribe to the channel even the notification bell hit that so you know whenever i upload everybody that's returning you already know what it is love is love is love until next time i send a big fat old ashe peace